everybody, welcome to an Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. Today, I will be teaching you how to make an easy Instagram type filter. But before we get into that, if you can, please subscribe. It would mean a lot to me, uh, thanks. So let's take a look at what it would look like. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is open Adobe Premiere Pro. You're gonna to wanna to create a new project and you can call that project whatever you want. For now, I'm just gonna call it a uh, Institute, sure. So now that we have it open, let's bring all of our audio and footage into it. Okay, so now that I have all my footage down here, let's create a sequence. The sequence can be whatever you want. Uh, this, is, this can really be applied to anything. So now let's set up all of our footage and audio. So now I have my footage edited to my music. Let's get into the filter. What you're gonna wanna do is come down here to your project bin, click on new item, hover over black video and click it, hit okay, go back to your project bin, click and drag the black video onto the second layer on top of your footage. Now extend the black video to however long your footage is. So now, you have just a black video over your footage. So what we're gonna want to do is go over here to effects, go down to video effects, scroll down a little bit to generate, and you're gonna see four color gradient. That's the one we want. Click and drag it onto the black video. Now here in our program monitor, we can see that we have four colors in four corners. That's perfectly fine. You can change any of those colors to whatever you want. And where you change them is right here in the effects control panel, all the way down onto four color gradient. And right here, you can change the color and the point. For me, this is fine right now, but you can change it to whatever you want. What I am gonna do is I'm gonna come to color two, which is that lime green, and I'm gonna change it to an orange type color. That seems good about there. Hit okay, and it's gonna update it in real time. So now what we're gonna wanna do is scroll up on the effects panel, go over to opacity, deactivate the toggle animation stopwatch, and change the opacity to about 35%. Now you can change that based on what your preference is. I'm gonna go down because I think it's a little too much and about there looks good. Now if we click on the drop down menu that says normal, and we go down to screen and click that, you're gonna see that it kind of blends in more with the footage. So if I bring the opacity up, there we go, about there. Looks good. So now, this is good by itself, but I wanna add a little bit of movement. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a quick and dirty way. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go to the beginning of the footage. I'm gonna go to scale and change that to about 250-ish. That's good. So now what we see is that the colors have faded a little bit, but they're still there. Now on the rotation, I'm gonna to toggle the stopwatch. Once I've toggled the stopwatch, I'm gonna to go to the end of the video footage and I'm gonna change this to 2X. Now what the X means is how many times it rotates around in a 360. So if I wanted to rotate twice all the way around, that's two times, so 2x. Now, we get a footage that looks like this. That was an easy way to do an Instagram type filter. Thanks for watching. Make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Doses. Nice, that one actually came out pretty nice.